Oxygen. All Terra Beacon Signature Detected. Unique Identifier, Delta Station Dock. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it, and it was just gone. And you think someone stole it? This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it, and it was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are. But you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal location uploaded to PDA. PDA data. Blueprint synthesized.
A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here and as you know, I'm a Pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with, but you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> Communications Tower Maintenance Log. Another day, 
another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status, in progress. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Sam really got under management's skin. I didn't know she had it in her. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well-suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. 
Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining.
warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oxygen. Oxygen. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings. Like I knew they'd do to mine once they took over Xenoworks. I tried to warn her. She was stubborn, like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier, faster, less play by the rules. But Sam didn't tolerate Altera's corporate red tape any more than I did. She just... tried to change it from the inside. I think in the end, we always wanted similar things. What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit? Like I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew the terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? <laughs> 